Hello and welcome to another Minute Vimtrix video. Today I'm going to be showing you the Control-P plugin. And I'm going to be just showing you how to use it and some customizations that I found useful that you can add to your VimRC file. So, let's get started. The first thing is, uh, what is the Control-P plugin? Well, it's a fuzzy file searcher. So what it allows you to do is if you hit Control-P in, uh, in a Vim project, It'll pop open this little window at the bottom, which we can then type, and it will fuzzy search for whatever I'm typing. So if I say uh, ph for parser, uh, parser.h, it will um, find the parser h file, uh, parser.h file, even though I didn't type the entire thing. So it fuzzy searches, it just searches for whatever string of characters you have um, with whatever you want in between. So if it was a reg uh, regular expression, it would be p star, uh, p dot star h. Um, that's what that's what the regular expression would be, but between uh, there would be a dot star between every character. So uh, this is a really useful plugin because it allows you to quickly navigate your Vim projects and find all the files uh, that you need to access really quickly instead of uh, popping open like a um, an explorer window and then. Uh, slash searching for everything, in which case I'd say parser.h, I'd find it, I'd hit it, and then there I'd get my, um, I'd get my window open with, with my file. But instead I can just say ph and then, oh wait, it's because I already had it open, but if I say, I go back here and then say ph, it'll open my parser.h file really quickly. Alright, so that's what it can do in a nutshell, but it's a but the control p plugin is actually extremely customizable. There's all kinds of things you can add to your vimrc file and it's it's very easy to add new um, plugins so you can fuzzy search pretty much anything you want if you pass it in the right way I'm not going to show you how to write a plugin for the control p uh, add-on but I will show you some of the cooler plugins out there so the first thing uh, we're going to do is just uh, open my vimrc file just so I can uh, see what kind of uh, plugins I have what kind of configuration I have on my control P plugin. Um, so that's just the control P funky add-on. That's the only one I have for it right now because the defaults are actually pretty good. But we can add some uh, pretty neat uh, customizations. So the first one I'm going to show you is uh, G control P underscore map. And this is just, oops, control P. Um, this is just your uh, key map to open it up. So by default, it's control P because that's what the name of the uh, add-on is. Um, now, I personally haven't remapped this uh, variable because I find the control P, like, it doesn't conflict with anything I do. Uh, so if it, the only time you'd really want to modify this is if it's conflicting with a plugin you already have installed. What I've done is I've just, um, I've just uh, mapped my uh, leader O to the control P function like this. So it just runs that instead. Um, you can do it either way, whichever one you're more comfortable with. So the next thing I'm going to show you is uh, the option to disable or enable uh, hidden files. So we can just say let g control P show hidden and this is only if you want hidden files to show up in your um, fuzzy in your uh, control P searches. And this may be useful if you happen to do it. I generally know where all my hidden files are and I'll just edit them directly. So I know my vimrc file is uh, home.vimrc. So I'll normally do that because I don't usually edit um, control P show hidden. Uh, I usually don't edit hidden files in my projects. So um, my it's mainly just configuration files which I know where they are uh, on my file system anyway. So uh, just, a, just an option to flip if that's something you need. One of the cool things is it grabs, um, control P will grab from your, uh, uh, it will grab from your wild ignore variable and will ignore those files as well. So I have my wild ignore set to just ignore binary files, images, um, and .git folders as well as ht and scapn, even though I never use those. Um, so that just makes, um, it, it by default again, like I said, the defaults normally work. So if, as long as you have wild and ignore set, which is the, like the global um, vim ignore variable, it, it will uh, ignore it in the control p plugin as well. On to some of the more advanced features of the control p plugin. Let's open up my project again. We can also uh, we can we can find files 
like I've shown you before. Uh, and let's just open my double C file. All right. And but but we can also search through um, buffers that we've already previously opened. So I'm just going to open a few of my files here. Uh, okay, and then I'm going to close them because I have set hidden, uh, which means even if I close a buffer, it will stay open in the background. And if I say Control P buffer, I can now search through all my buffers that I have that are hidden. So now I can just say Lexer and open up my uh, Lexer file. Let's also look at one of the other ones, which is Control P M R U, which stands for M R U stands for Most Recent uh, Files. No. I forget what it stands for. Yeah, most recently updated files. So if we do that, it will um, show us a it'll, it'll show us a list of all our open files. You may want to have this in a key binding if you tend to go back to your fi same files a lot. But I don't have this one as a key binding because um, it's not quite as useful for me. When you have your Control P um, window open, you have some other key bindings here. Uh, when you search, you notice it's not just one file returning back. So we can use Control K and Control J to scroll up and down our list and see which one to open. But normally, like Control P is pretty smart, so it'll generally grab the one that's the best match and stick it right at the bottom where your cursor is. So you can just hit Enter and open it right up. We can also switch between full path and file name only search. By default, it's the full path. So if I start typing uh, simple, which is the name of one of the folders, simple VM, uh, I can I can say I can type sim and it will uh, match that that directory, and then I can go on to match whatever the name of the file is. So I'll match the main.c. But we can also just look for a file. So if I say Control D. We'll go into file search mode, and you'll see that it says file at the bottom here now. And we also have a D in the um, little prompt, uh, little control P prompt there. So now when we search, if I type main, it will, if I type sim, it won't match the name of the directory. It'll just match the name of um, our uh, specific files. That one's nice when you're narrowing down in a big project where folder names may have the same name as your file. Uh, so that just makes things a little bit easier in that uh, instance. As well as having the key binding to a specific control P mode, we can also um, toggle between them whilst in our default control P um, prompt. So if you hit control F, it will switch between file mode, buffer mode, and then MRU mode. And uh, control B is backwards, so you can go buffer, uh, file, MRU. Uh, I, I use this one generally to navigate between buffers. Um, it's an extra key press, so that's why I was considering binding it in my vimrc file to uh, leader B. So if, if you, but, but when I want to open a recently updated file, I can just go here and type it in instead of having to have a, its own dedicated key binding. Once we have our file selected, we can also choose what, how to open it. If you use the default and just hit enter, it'll open it in our window. But if you use control T, instead of hitting enter, you just hit control T, it'll open it in a new tab. We can also open it in a vertical split or a horizontal split. We can do a uh, vertical split with control V for vertical. We now have it uh, split and it splits the window and opens up your file that way. We can also open it in a horizontal split with control X, which will just split the window and open it in the top. You, you can modify which side uh, you want it to open on so you can choose whether to open on top or bottom. I'm not that picky I, I uh, because it places my cursor in the window anyway. But if you want a specific one you can uh, change that variable. One more useful one uh, I find is the control Y uh, key press. The The only issue with it is it, it um, what it does is it creates the folders and files um, that you need if you type in a file path. So if I type simple vm, simple vm, you have to. The, the only issue with it is you have to type the exact name. You can't fuzzy match a folder and then add a sub file underneath. But if I say that test uh, test file and hit Control Y, 
it'll create my simple VM slash test file, uh, which is fairly useful, especially uh, especially since you don't have to go out here and then say here and then make it. Uh, it also creates directories if if they're in the file path, so I don't have to go here and then make my directory dash p uh, and then cd it and then touch the file. It does that all in one step, uh, and that's especially useful because I don't have to. Uh, suspend my zim, my uh, vim session, and um, it, it just it's all in one one key press. So that makes things a little bit simpler. Last one I'm going to show you is the control O function. So if you've got a bunch of files that you want to open, so say uh, I'm not going to fuzzy search because this is kind of a small project. So I'm going to just select a few files to open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, navigate this prompt here and let's say I want to open the make file you hit control Z to mark it it's marked uh, let's say I want to open this one and this one and this one as well now if I hit control O it opens them all in splits so um, that's useful for like op getting started if you have uh, if you need to open a bunch of files immediately uh, or if you have a bunch of files that you want to compare since it opens them all in vertical splits by default. Uh, so that's those are all the um, oh there are two more uh, key bindings I wanted to show you. One is F5. Uh, Control P is super fast because it caches your project but if you say add new file uh, uh, and don't use Control Y to add it. Whoops, let me see back here. Uh, touch new file, and then you're in your Vim session. You attempt to say new file. It's not going to show up. So what you have to do is you just clear that cache. In that case, you hit uh, F5, which will clear your cache and load a new one, and then it'll find your new uh, file. If you've got a large project, it can be a little bit slow sometimes. Oh, also it applies if you remove a file it'll still appear there so you just clear it and then it will remove it. Uh, it can be a little slow if it's a large project but normally control P is pretty dang freaking fast. Alright, uh, I'm gonna show you a few more uh, a few of the add-ons and then uh, wrap this video up. So the first one I'm gonna show you is control P line. So if you say colon control P line it'll search our um, all our buffers for specific lines. So I can say end if in my file, it's line 15, I can hit that and it will bring me right here. Um, I've sometimes used this one for searching quickly instead of having to use mgrep or just grep in the shell. Uh, for what it does, it's actually super useful. So I'm going to use that one uh, when instead of vimgrep next time I run into a situation where I need to uh, find a line in a file. The other one is control P mixed which I may also choose to bind to uh, my open command because what it does is it allows me to search through files, MRUs, and buffers all in one. So then uh, instead of opening the same file a bunch of times, um, like so I don't double open a buffer for instance, or if I'm just trying to find a buffer because sometimes I'll reopen the file just to jump to that buffer. Um, but if I if I use mixed mode, it'll get all of them at once, and it includes MRUs, uh, which is pretty useful. So uh, I may use that one. And finally, I'm going to show you Control P Funky. This one doesn't come with uh, Control P by default. You have to clone it as well, um, or if you're using Vundle, uh, just stick it in underneath your uh, Control P. Uh, that's all you have to do, and then enable it in your vimrc file. And if we say that this, we can see all the functions, uh, all the function definitions in the file, uh, which is pretty awesome for navigation. Because uh, once again, no need to uh, like search for. Oh, I'm trying to find the. I don't know what this file has. It's generated. Um, I'm trying to find the. Uh, YY flush buffer. If I say search for YY flush buffer, I'll get, oops, why I can't even remember what it is, flush buffer. I'll get this, and then I want the definition, which is 
and then I bump into all the function calls as well. So um, if I just use Control P Funky, um, I can simply type the name of the uh, function that I want to jump to. Uh, so why by flush buffer, and then I'll just jump straight to it. So. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Uh, make sure to like, favorite, subscribe for new videos. Uh, also, let me know in the comments what types of videos you want to see. Do you want to see more like uh, add-on showcases like this one or more basic tutorials like uh, the window one I did last month, I think, or um, something else entirely. I could, I could do uh, workflows, working with external tools and Vim, um, different ways of shelling out to make your life a little bit easier so you're not doing things manually uh different like vim like um utilities there's this one i found called vim deck that generates vim presentations i might do a video on that so uh just let me know in the comments what types of videos you want to see and what like skill level you consider yourself because uh, I'm not quite sure whether the majority of you guys are beginners or more advanced users that want to see uh, like showcase type things or hidden features in Vim. So make sure to let me know um, and I'll, I'll uh, be sure to try to make videos that you guys will enjoy. So thank you very much for watching and we will see you all later.